Okay, so here's the drone. What you need to do is plug the battery into this little thing here. Then it goes flat. There is brilliant instructions on the Airbit website. And um, basically that sorts itself out, calibrates and lets it know it's ready to go. This is the controller and you then obviously power that up. Again, that collaborates and sorts itself out. Basically they're connected by radio signal. Um, and this is really, really interesting. So if you follow, let me get that close so you can see. Can you see the red dot in the middle there? This is actually the controller of the direction that the drone will move. So you start the drone by pressing both buttons. There we go. And then you end it by doing the same. B is accelerator or more power, so that makes the drone go up. A is reduced power or makes the, the drone go down. Then you essentially direct the drone by tilting the controller in different ways. I'll show you fully how this works outside, obviously, in action. So there is your quick recap on what the Airbit 2 is and how it very, very basically operates. So high, I'm hypnotized What's up is down, what's left is right Chasing stars and holding view I can't see the end, but we'll see it through Okay, so a bit of an issue there with the drone. Not sure quite what's happening. Um, seems to be uneven power going to the different propellers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back up to my office and I am going to uh, recharge the battery and see if that makes a difference. Okay, I'll see you once it's charged. Bye. Okay, so I'm back in the office now. I've had a bit of a think about this. And what I noticed was that the um, drone was flipping this way when it was flying. And I couldn't really understand why. Then I looked more closely at the actual propellers. And if you look closely at them, and I do remember this from the build, there's two different types. There's a clockwise and a counterclockwise um, propeller. Now, what was happening was uh, basically these two were counterclockwise and these two were clockwise. So what that was resulting in was obviously when the propellers were turned on that the motion was incorrect and it was flipping this side. So what I had to do was change the propeller. So I changed this one to a counter uh, clockwise and this one to a counterclockwise. And this allowed the actual um, drone to be better balanced and essentially fly flat instead of flipping one way or the other. So hopefully problem solved. Um, let's go and test again. So after many, many attempts and many, many crashes, I successfully flew the Airbit 2 Microbit drone. However, there was a cost. And after one crash too many, I actually broke the frame of the Airbit. However, this does provide a unique opportunity where I can use the propellers, the motors and the brain and the battery to build my own DIY drones using the code and the microbits. So if you are interested in finding out more about that and following that journey, please subscribe and I'll see you next time.